One of the biggest disadvantages from Minecraft on the console over to PC is that on console you can get rid of people's gamer tags. And have that feature on PC would be really amazing. Oh wait, there is a way and it uses a scoreboard feature. So, um, what you want to do is, no we're not creating an objective, we're just going to go straight over to teams, uh, add, and then call this whatever you want. I'm just going to call it no tag, or no, no, no tag, and there we go. Um, next what you got to do is scoreboard, teams, no not objectives, teams, uh, option, no tag, and then there's a handful of different options here, but the one we're interested in is name tag visibility. There's a few, there's always, uh, there's never, uh, and then there's, let's see, there's hide for other teams and hide for own team, which which is basically, if you're, if that is your own team, if, if this was team blue, hide for other teams, this would hide the, um, that team for everyone and then this would hide it within that own team if that makes any sense however you might notice that his gamer tag or holding here uh, is still showing uh, what the reason why is that because no one is in this team that we created so we want to go teams uh, join not add no tag and then holding or Dowscraft and there we go he has no gamer tag and he can put my skin on and walk around pretend to be me and no one would notice at all uh, however, as we can, as you can probably have to trust Holden, uh, I don't have my, I have my gamer tag above. Uh, what you can do instead of just putting um, a single players in, you can do at all or at a, and that would put everyone in. So you can see that included me as well. However, this has to, um, that only works for the people who are on the server. So be wary of that. Um, but maybe there's uh, teams, there's certain teams that need to have it off and certain teams that need to have it on. Let's say hide and seek. If you're hiding, if you're a hider, then your gamer tag probably wants to be off. And if you're uh, a seeker, you might want it to be on. Uh, and maybe something else other than this, uh, hide for other teams and hide for own team. Uh, that, that maybe, maybe not that. So maybe you already have two teams, red and blue. So let's do scoreboard teams let's add a couple teams okay so I added a couple teams let's give Holden uh, the, remember notice that we don't actually need to create an objective at all we're just using the teams feature um, let's add Holden to the blue team so blue Holden and then we'll add me to the red team so we want red and me uh, so I'm on the red team, he's on the blue team. Let's say blue team is hider and I'm a seeker, and red team is seeker, so we want scoreboard, teams, option, not list, option, uh, blue, name tag, visibility, never. And there you go. He's still on the blue team, but you can't see their gamer tag. And now he can go hide. And we can't see his gamer tag through the wall, and that's cool because he doesn't even need a crouch. So maybe maybe that can be a mini game on the Mocharv other private server that we totally have that I need to work on. So that that's pretty much that. Um, I'll get I'll get rid of these teams real quick. And yeah, that's basically that. Obviously, you need to be able to use commands on your server, or maybe ask permission um, to do that specifically if you know the owner of the server. Uh, and you can do it on single player, uh, obviously, as long as you just have the uh, able to use commands run, and you should be good to go. Uh, no command blocks, no actual scoreboards. Uh, well, no actual, yeah, no actual scoreboards. If we go objectives, list, uh, we have sleep and health, which is for the Mocharv server that we're playing. But you you don't not see the no tag, and yeah, uh, that's pretty cool. Whoops, um, what the? There we go. Uh, and yeah, so uh, thank you Holden for joining me.